Jane. Uh, your phone. Right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, got it. Silly of me. Oh, goodbye again. Wait. Give me the diary. I try. <laughs> I knew, I knew it might be a trick, but I, I had to be sure. Yes, that's how the trick works. What led you to me? Not that I'm saying I did it, I'm just asking. When we first met, you said you didn't know who Red John was, but you have books on criminal psychiatry there that have chapters on it. You're the Randolph family doctor, so you could easily get a strand of Tag's hair. And being a doctor, you can hack up another human without difficulty. It's obvious it was you. <laughs> That's it. You have nothing. That's just guesswork. Oh, I know. I just wanted to be sure I had the right answer. I was surprised, I gotta be honest. You don't seem to be a wicked man. But you are. <laughs> You're angry about the letter. And it was a bit mean spirited. The record, I'm sorry about your family. I can only imagine your pain, but I'm not a wicked man. My conscience is clear. Really? Right now in Africa, there's 3,000 beautiful children alive today who should be dead, but they aren't because of me. Heaven was going to ruin me and destroy all that work over nothing. Money. Theft, he called it. Embezzlement. Self-righteous idiot. It's simple math. If I go to jail, thousands of kids will die. So I made a rational, moral decision to kill Tannen for the greater good. And Allison, what did she do wrong? Mm. As you said, she was the magician's assistant, just a distraction. If only Tannen died, the police would have been all over this place, wouldn't they? Truly is killing two. Any worse than killing one when so many lives are at stake? I don't think so. You poor sad man. You're under arrest. Let's I'm go. pointing a gun at you. You really think I would set you up so nicely and let you pull a loaded gun on me? I took the bullets out earlier. <laughs> Down on your knees. Down. <laughs> 